These fish are thriving in here. They're producing babies like crazy. There's got to be something to this. time for an update on the Frontosa African cichlids here. So, some problems arose the other day. I was trying to clean the filter out and clean the tank glass a little bit and something happened that uh, I've been, I knew it was gonna happen soon. I've been waiting for it to happen. It happened. I gotta deal with it now. And then I just wanna show you guys, it, <laughs> I, I can't hardly believe this little lady in here, but she's pregnant again. So let's show you a little pregnant mama fish here. And of course, these guys are mouth brooders. She's not really pregnant per se, but she's got a bunch of little fry in her mouth there. And she's been keeping them in there longer and longer. I think it's because she wants to keep the rest of these guys from eating them. But once they get a certain size, she lets them out and they seem to do just fine and get along. So we've got different size frontosa in this aquarium. And I counted the other day, there's like 60 of them in here. It's absolutely crazy but they're just breeding like crazy. But anyway, let me show you what the problem was. I got in here, I cleaned everything, cleaned all the glass, took it off. I haven't done anything in a while. And I wanna tell you one other thing, guys, about this tank that you're not gonna believe, you're not gonna like me for it, but it's absolutely true, and maybe it's a good thing in the long run. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you that here in a second. First of all, you see this blue line in here. I had to jury rig my filtration system because we had an impeller break on this thing. Anyway, the flow is not very good for this tank. It's not flowing good. You can see the water is just not filtering well at the top, but it's doing good enough over the last week since that thing broke. I've got the new impeller. Let's see if it fits. And then stay tuned because I'm gonna reveal something to you guys about this tank that you're probably not gonna like. All right, so I got the filter unplugged, or the uh, pump here, but unfortunately, I've gotta pull this whole thing off the top to get that filter out. And get this guy over to the sink. All right, so here's the new impeller, and I ordered this on Amazon, came in this gigantic package here, and that is all we have been missing. So I tried to size this thing up, and I hope to God this works, but, uh, I hope it's gonna fit in there. What had happened was the tines on the other one broke off and it just wasn't creating any pull down in there so it wasn't sending water around and filtering. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to come up with another solution. I took the filters out because it gets expensive replacing them. It's a waste of money. And these little sponges work just as well. Yeah, water can flow around them a little bit, but they hold a ton of bacteria and uh, it, I've never had a problem with these filters, even though they're a coarser sponge, and it works way better than just buying the little cheap filters that go in there. In fact, like I said, they don't even make any parts for this thing anymore, so I had to do something anyway. But here's our impeller. This is what we're working with, and you can see, there's the culprit. Sucker is just done. All right, so I got these guys side by side, and as you can see, <laughs> They stick together. But anyway, that new one is much smaller, dag nabbit. So that's not gonna work at all. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about this because this magnet here is just too small. It's gonna rattle around in that. All right, so after playing around with this guy for a little bit, I got all my leftover parts over here, but I had to tear both of them apart and put the this new little impeller onto the old one because it just didn't fit, the, the new one didn't. But let's plug it in. I've already been playing with it. It's pretty corroded. This thing is old, but uh, mess around with it a little. You can get it spinning. And there it goes. I don't know if you can hear that. I think it's gonna work though, but it is temperamental. It, it'll stop and it's tough to get spinning again. See, it isn't spinning. And so I really am gonna have to play with this once I get it. Come on, buddy. There it goes. Anyway, I'm gonna get this all set back up and man, I just hope and pray that it's gonna work. All right, so we got this all back together. Ooh, there goes the water. Glad that uh, my wife's at work. And we'll put all this back down in here. Now, we're gonna cross our fingers, hope and pray 
but that little impeller does what it needs to do. It's a little bit lower than the other one down in the system here, so I don't know if it's going to be able to create the draw of the water, but we'll figure it out. Let's plug her in. I may have to play around with this for a minute here to get it working. All right, you can hear it. It's working. Let's get some water down in there. There it goes. Just need more water. Let's see. Is it going to pull? Wow, that's actually working pretty dang well, guys. That water flow is good. Let's show it to you. So it's not perfect. That impeller was a little lower, but uh, that water flow is really good. It's actually way better than this 250 gallon an hour pump. I think once all the air clears out of here and it just gets flowing real good, which it's getting there, I think we're going to be good, man. We're going to be golden. Now, the only thing I'm going to have to figure out is... I might have to put some more sponge up top here to keep it from just flowing right out. But uh, that little impeller's working. I just need to get it to uh, get all that oxygen out of there, all that air, so it's not sucking weird like that. It will. It'll clear. Man, awesome. Look at that flow down in there. That is just awesome. That new impeller is working great. All right, it's starting to figure itself out there. I'm going to get this lid back on and then get that pump out from under there. All right, so there it is. We got most of the bugs worked out of this thing. Still sucking a little bit of air here. I had to put some uh, petroleum jelly down around the seal there so it wouldn't suck air. I think it's still sucking a little bit in, but for the most part, the flow is a lot better there. Up here, you can see way better than that 250 gallon pump. Uh, 250 gallon an hour pump. Anyway, the flow is way stronger. It's actually breaking some of that surface tension and it should really start cleaning this tank up quite a bit. Of course, everything's pretty bad looking right now because we just stirred it all up messing with that filter. So overall, I'm happy with the results here. I had to kind of piece things together, but that filter, that little new impeller works really, really well. It's just making that water flow so much better and it's gonna, I'm gonna have my filter back basically. Like I said, this is just a temporary thing. The ultimate plan is to get them in the 180 gallon aquarium with a whole new setup. And I really like the idea of sumps. I don't like the idea of drilling this tank. So more and more, I'm thinking about building an overhead sump. We'll see how that works out. In the meantime, this is what I've got. Now, for those of you who've waited here till the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you right now, the crazy thing that you're not gonna like to hear, but uh, might open us up to some new ideas, and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys, you guys that love the aquarium hobby. I haven't changed the water in this tank in over two years. Now, before you get all crazy on me, the reason is this. I only had that one mom fish, that frontosa, sitting in here for two years. I kinda lost interest in the tank for a while, and it just sat here. I'd clean the glass occasionally, and then the water would evaporate and I'd top it off. But other than that, it just sat here. I didn't do any water changes. I feel a little guilty about that. But I'm kind of wondering, should I feel guilty about it? She went on to produce all these babies. Ton I've got almost 60 Frontosa African cichlids in this tank. How could that possibly be that I'm not doing water changes? I still haven't done a water change on this thing in over two years. And these fish are thriving. Could it be because I've got like three to four inches of sand down here? Could it be all the rock and maybe tons of surface area for bacteria? Where are the nitrates going? I don't know, but you fish people, maybe you can help me out with some of these answers. In the meantime, it's kind of interesting to see how all this is unfolding. All these little babies that she's pumping out, like I said, I've got a four inch layer. This used to be a saltwater tank. And so I had these aragonite spheres and they've got tons of porous space in there for bacteria. It's a deep sand bed. Maybe that's the reason for it. Maybe that's why I haven't had to do water changes. And like I said, you can see, even though you might get a little upset here and that, these fish are thriving in here. They're producing babies like crazy. There's got to be something to this. Anyway, I thought I'd post this little update for those of you who are just here for the fish. There you go, that's what's going on in this tank. A Little bit more background information. We got the filter working again. We'll see how things turn out. Now I know some of you are excited about getting these into the 180 gallon tank, getting that tank set up and get everything going with that. But before I do that, I gotta rip the carpet out of here and get some hardwood floors going on because my wife wants hardwood floors. That's a whole nother project. So it'll be a while, so just hang in there. 
before we get these guys into the bigger tank, but it's going to happen. And when it does happen, I'm going to show it all to you guys. So, in the meantime, have a fantastic week. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see that 180-gallon build down the road. Have a fantastic week, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Adios.